<laughs> all right i thought that was a little fun to do a little intro for the video today doing a subscriber request of the vk100 versus the mouse now we know the mouse is a much higher tier at tier 10 than the vk100 so in doing these challenges we see how many vk100s it takes to take on a mouse we're starting out here with three vk 100s versus one mouse and we just keep turning up the heat adding more mouse tanks more vk 100s and the battles get pretty crazy so when comparing these two tanks outside of the fact that they're much different tiers and obviously we're going to need more vk 100s to take on a mouse to determine and kind of find out how many vk 100s it's going to take to take on a mouse both of these tanks are very well armored as a matter of fact the vk 100s armor profile really isn't that much different than the mouse they both have i think 200 millimeters of hull frontal hull armor the vk 100s turret i believe has just 10 millimeters less of frontal turret armor than the mouse um, at 230 compared to 240 millimeters and there is that pretty big cupola on top with the vk100 giving it a pretty good weak spot both tanks using the same cannon um, but the mouse having much better penetration the vk100 is going to have to use that premium round to really cut through when shooting at the front of the mouse, especially through the cheeks. The cheeks of that mouse turret being 240 millimeters and the standard AP round I think is like 220 or so. Well, excuse me, the, the turret front of the mouse is 240 millimeters. And yeah, I think the VK's AP round is like 230 or something like that so um, using AP rounds to really cut through that thick armor is really going to be needed this mouse <laughs> poor Garen he was the first one to try it out shout out to him and thank you to all the subscribers that it helped um, with these awesome videos that we do you can just see how much red there and if you get the mouse a little bit too flat it can become a bit easy to pen. So with one mouse against three VK100s, the VK100s were able to pull through. We're gonna go into and add a little bit more tanks here. So now we've got two mouse tanks against four VK100s. The other thing when comparing these two tanks is the VK100s mobility is actually a little bit faster it does have a slightly better camo rating than the mouse just given the fact the mouse is a much bigger tank it's kind of funny <laughs> talking about a camo rating for even something just so large looks like both of them are taking the same area on the side of the map which makes sense both of these tanks do perform much better in flatter ground. And just so many bounces. Just look at that. These monsters going face to face. Just these armored beasts and these VKs able to really get through now. The other thing is the mouse does have a lot more hit points. Um, the rate of fire on the mouse is a lot greater. So the DPM is just much better on the mouse. So the VK 100s are gonna have to really find some good areas of protection just while uh, reloading, just to protect themselves. Here comes 
Yeah, and if the mouse isn't facing directly, um, like directly at him, it makes it way difficult for the VKs to be able to penetrate the mouse. Whereas with the mouse, because that VK100 has that massive cupola on top, it's, it's much easier to penetrate. I do like on the VK100 how the side cheeks of the turret is much narrower. But yeah, the cupola on top just kind of takes that away. And he is trying to wiggle and do everything he can. And was there still being three VK tanks? Honestly, I'm quite impressed. I, I really thought the uh, two mouse tanks versus four VK 100s might have been able to do it. But as you can see, the VK 100s were still able to pull through. Let's add some more tanks. Okay, adding more tanks here. Now we're gonna do three mouse versus five VK 100s. Looks like both pushing town, really knowing what to do. Now town is not a very popular area to push on this map. A lot of people like going caves, whereas everyone is out in these very big, uh, armored, not very fast, lots of gun depression, like not lots of gun depression tanks. These flat terrains are actually really good for tanks like this. And using some of that HE explosive damage on the mouse tanks just to do whatever they can. Nice shot there. Which with the VK100 at tier eight, that mouse cannon is actually a bit derpy with the cannon being at tier 10 on the mouse, it doesn't really seem to be like, I mean, it's, it's more derpy than some. It doesn't seem to do as much as what seems the VK100 does when fighting against other tier seven or eight, nine tanks, just because they don't have as many hit points. So it doesn't look like you're taking away as many or doing as much damage. The mouse is really pushing up here, putting the VKs in a very bad spot. Wow, this is a brutal battle here. <laughs> when you start talking about a really heavy, uh, super heavy tank having to flank and get along the side, to try and penetrate another tank. I don't know, the thought of it's just kind of funny. Both trying to flank each other here. And it looks like the mouse tanks were able to do it. But I'll be honest, that is a lot of hit points to burn through. Love this little uh, backwards reverse shot the mouse has got going on here. That is one thing that is kind of nice about these rear mounted turrets is being able to just pop out a little bit, not exposing as much as if it was a centered mounted turret take the shot and then quickly roll back. Wow, and what a game and good push by the mouse team. We were just joking and it was 
just funny to imagine if this VK100 would have won by ammo racking both the mouse tanks. That would have been like the most epic victory. So well done. And we're going to go into our last round here on Vineyards with seven VK100s versus four mouse tanks. And once again, both teams pushing town. Now the funny thing is they don't have to worry about anyone quickly coming up toward the center of the map to spot anyone. None of these tanks has the speed or capability is like a normal light or medium tank you'd struggle with so it is just full on armor versus armor here oh they're starting to get some crossfire off on, on each other starting to spot some of the mouse and VK tanks already getting some good shots off yeah that lower plate on the mouse and VK100 can be a bit trollish to hit because it's not as wide as some lower glacial plates on heavy tanks those really thick wide tracks definitely make it a bit hard to get through it So as a matter of fact, the cannon that's on the VK100 and the mouse is the same exact cannon that the Ferdinand also has um, when it's fully upgraded. Oh, these mouse tanks doing another aggressive push since it worked out really well in the previous match. Looks like we got one VK trying to run away. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why it's just so funny to me trying to watch something that's so massive and heavy, trying to either flank or run away. I don't know why that's just so funny to me, but it just it it just like it just makes me laugh. Now that's kind of funny. VK and Mouse just passed each other by. Wow. And now we've got a three versus three. Wow, what a match. Just so cool to see this. So it looks like when there's fewer mouse tanks, one mouse tank can take on two VK100s, but then when you add a third one in there, it just seems to be a little bit too much. Whereas, like in this match, where we had four mouse tanks for seven, even though there's three more VKs, it's... I would say that there needs to be at least another VK100 to maybe make it work. But let me know your guys' thoughts. These were some great challenges and awesome job from the subscribers. If you wanna join any of these challenges, showdowns, historical recreations that we do, go ahead, join the Discord, get the movie crew roll. Um, that way you can get the announcements when we put these rooms together. <laughs> and I think that VK realized it was just over at that point.
So anyway, this is the muffin here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vid. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.